Hey there, everybody. Welcome to another Q&A Wednesday here on Jessica Smith TV. Today we are tackling another million dollar question, which is why can't I lose weight? So this is a question that I've asked so often. And I really believe that my role as a wellness coach is to not to stand here as an expert and tell you to do X, Y, and Z to lose more weight. But instead, what I do with my clients and I like to do with you here on our channel is really turn that question back around to you and ask you, why do you think that you're not losing weight? Now, a lot of the times we say, well, I'm doing everything right and just nothing is working. But is that really the case? Are you really taking the best care possible of your body and your health? Or are you just kind of going through the motions? Are you being patient enough? Are you giving your body enough time to respond to all these healthy changes? Now, don't get me wrong, as someone who's struggled with their weight, I know that it can be really frustrating to be doing everything perfectly and not see the scale move. But I have to remind you that that doesn't mean that you aren't making progress. So many changes happen to us internally that we can't see or find on that scale number, but it doesn't mean that things are not changing in a positive direction for you. And it may mean that you're not exactly doing everything that you possibly could do. Sometimes we get the workouts down, but we're still not eating as healthfully as we could, or maybe we're eating a little bit too much. Sometimes we get diet and exercise down, but we're not getting enough sleep. Maybe you're getting enough sleep, you're dieting, you're exercising, but you're not managing your stress level. There's really such a big sphere of wellness that has to occur in order for your body to really let go of that excess weight. So keep asking yourself that question. Why am I not losing weight? The answer is gonna be different for everybody. So I don't have a specific answer to give you, which I know can be so frustrating, but I really wanna encourage you to keep questioning yourself. And just remember that even if you're doing everything right and you're taking great care of your body, even if it's not yet showing up on the scale, it doesn't mean that things are not going to change. If you continue to look for ways to take care of your body and your health, your weight will reflect those positive changes eventually. Might take a little bit longer, but if you stick with it, the outside can't help but show all those positive internal changes as well. So guys, I hope you found that helpful. Again, I apologize for not standing here and giving you a more specific formula, but the truth is there's really not one specific answer. We know as we're learning more and more through scientific studies that weight loss doesn't really always boil down to exercise more and eat less. It's not always that simple and it really varies depending on each individual, what you're eating, how you're sleeping, how you're taking care of yourself, what types of workouts you're doing, all those things play a big factor. But I really believe, and as your coach, hope that you will also adopt this, that if you really are taking the best care possible of your body, tuning into your body's signals and messages, then eventually you're going to find your own personal healthy weight. So I hope that helped everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have a question that I can answer in an upcoming Q&A Wednesday, please be sure to leave it for me in the comments below. And of course, I'd love to hear your thoughts and insights. So if you have some you wanna share with us about this very important topic, please be sure to leave it in the comments below and we'll can continue the conversation. Thanks as always for remembering to like and share your favorite videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next week for another Q&A Wednesday. Take care everybody.